won't understand grief until you experience grief. Whether you lose a loved one, a close friend, um, you don't you don't fully understand it until you have experienced it. And I say that because so many people don't know what to say when someone loses someone. And they don't understand the stages that a person go through through grief and trying to heal and move on. And my thing is, being that I lost my mom, I had to had to learn and basically go day to day to see where, you know, it's like, it's something that you're going to go through. It's a process. It's, it's ups, it's downs, it's happy days, it's sad days, it's being angry and i don't care what nobody say if you truly love someone that you you lose that's close to you in that healing stage you're going to go through some times where you're going to be mad with god and i'm just i'm just keeping it honest i'm being because it, it's it's the human side of us that we want our loved one here with us and you know it's just something that you go through. So you're going to be angry. You're going to be happy. You're going to be sad. You're going to be okay. You're going to not be okay. I mean, it's 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 layers to it. And it's it takes years. And it can be 20 years. And it can still feel like you missed that person. And you lost them the, just yesterday. And it's been 20 years. <laughs> so you have to stop putting a time limit and a time frame on someone else's healing. I don't care if it's a counselor that you're going to. I don't care if it's a friend, a, a pastor, or whatever it may be. You can't put a limit and a time frame on how someone should heal. Because we can, if you are that person that don't know what to say, I'm going to tell you what to say. Nothing. Nothing at all. The best thing that you can do for a person that loses someone that they love, be there. Be there to listen. Even if it's just that they want you to just sit there and say nothing. Because you're helping them more by being there than you would trying to say something and not know what to say. And you can sometimes say the wrong thing and it can set off a trigger in them. So... Yeah, if you are a person like me that has lost someone that you loved and you deal with grief and you have those moments where days and weeks and years have went by and you still have those moments where you have those grief spells, have them. Have them. If you are in a place where you're, you want to be sad, you feel alone, and you want to cry, and you want to scream, you want to whatever, do it. That's part of your healing. And let no one stop you. So this is a part of life, grief, death, all of these things. And as life goes on, we're still learning as life goes on. So know when it's okay and when it's not okay to say things to people as they go through certain times in their life know when to be just be there and to show love in other ways because sometimes our words can hurt more to anybody when we say the wrong thing so if you're dealing with grief be in your moments it is okay and if you want to be there for someone for someone be there and just give love where you can. Peace.